I want to show you a method that I've developed for working on your saw teeth that we use a hacksaw, which is very unusual. I don't think it's been done before as far as I know. What we do is we drop the uh, hacksaw right into the bottom of the gullet and push forward. One, two, next gullet. And what that, that's doing is it's chasing a square groove across the gullet. So I'm going to do 10 teeth here, around about 10 teeth. There. That's chased a square gullet, a square gullet in the bottom of the gullet. Now I'm going to take my file and drop that right in so that the two wide faces register on each of the faces of the adjacent teeth. And I take one or two strokes, depends on the saw and the file, pass these into the gullet. So that means that the tiny edge, the narrow facet of the saw file, isn't even touching the bottom of the gullet. So just the two faces are, it makes it feel smoother. It so simplifies it, but it extends the length of your saw file for the sake of a hacksaw blade, which will actually do several saws as well. Listen to the difference. When I drop the saw file into one gullet that I've cut the relief in with the hacksaw blade, and then I go to the adjacent one that I haven't, there should be a difference in sound. So listen to this. And this one is far more abrasive because the very bottom of the, t the uh, flat face of that narrow face is engaging with the teeth and it actually feels like it's tripping me up. Whereas before, when I took the saw kerf in there, it didn't feel like that. It's totally different, very different. Will extend the life of your saw files maybe two, three, four times. I don't know, I haven't tested it all that long, but it definitely makes a difference to the sawing act, to the filing action, makes it smoother and I think you'll enjoy it. So try that, that's a great way. I wanna show you what's actually happening in the bottom of the gullet just to give you a chance to see it. So here is the bottom of the gullet is down here. So I've got this, I've taken the saw file and I've dropped it into the gullet and created this. So when I drop the file in here, the file is, has a flat face on it. Here is the file going into the gullet, you have this square section taken out so the file hits both faces straight off and there's nothing to hinder your cut, your stroke with the file. One of the things I did with the hacksaw is I, I ground off on, a, on a, a grinder, I just ground off the first section of teeth so it, t it feathers into these cutting teeth so these teeth are no longer cutting. So when it actually starts here, it starts, it's actually gliding across the top and it's only here where it starts to actually cut the steel. So that's one of the things I did. Also, I took two hammers, I stuck one in the vise, rested the uh, blade on it, and I tap, tap, tap to take out the wavy edge that the engine, that the manufacturers put in there to give it a little set to the two. So it makes it much smoother when it passes into the cut, makes it nice and even. By the time you've done these small steps, you've engineered something that is going to really change your saw sharpening Nobody's done this before as far as I know and I want to pass it on because I think this is a real upgrade to your performance with saw sharpening.